Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video where today I wanted to go ahead and make this video for a quick presentation that I was about to do. Um, let's put it on the safe side. I am doing this for a school project and I wanted to go ahead and upload this to YouTube. Now let me tell you the full gist of what happened. Now in this case, the way how you turn in this project at school, in this case, if you do it at the school and you turn it in, then you'll get credit for those points. Instead, I'm actually doing the alternative version and going ahead to uploading it to my YouTube channel instead. Um, which I hope you guys do enjoy and make sure that you do leave a like or video, um, like or anything on this video That will really help the channel out a lot um, Again, sorry for not uploading in like a month or two. I've been busy Now how technology actually does help in the future It will be more advanced in terms of how we use it in a day-to-day -day basis today We literally have a screen that goes onto a little bit of device goes on our phones but besides the point 3d printers which will actually allow more companies to get more innovative ideas into the future in this case a lot of people actually 3d print their items in terms of how they actually use it themselves and how they actually use it it will probably help the consumer to probably have a good grip or something like that for a phone or for an iPad or for a gaming console or something like that. So a lot of people actually use this and gives a lot of companies different designs that they probably wouldn't have dreamed about before. Maybe it would be something that would be a little bit different, like uh, an iPhone as a screen or something like that. And then you turn it into some type of console gaming or anything like that, that will possibly make it a little bit more better terms of how you actually make the um, the, the actual um, parts or pieces of what you're actually trying to make it actually helps a lot of people for um, a lot of um, 3d printing on computers where that's the main purpose of it which a lot of um, newer operating systems will be still compatible with 3d printing and maybe and even chances probably still print in the middle of what you're actually doing. Now gaming in the Nintendo community, a lot of people actually make a lot of games that are based off the Nintendo 3DS console, which I would say that the Nintendo 3DS console are their first year of actually making a 3D console or handheld in this case back in 2011 was a great innovative idea in terms of actually made a lot of users pleased with what Nintendo has actually done. Now, Nintendo is trying to stake it, um, stake it a little bit higher to where they're actually making a lot of other consoles and a lot of other games that are probably new to the new world and chances of all that. Um, Nintendo may be making a lot of new games that eventually will support VR. They've already gotten to the point where Nintendo has actually made games for the phone to make a lot of people actually buy their products instead of just using the one Nintendo console that is bought from the actual company itself. And Nintendo actually has a lot of new platform games and a lot of stuff that will actually happen on new devices. Computers, for instance, or a lot of other um, devices that will support a lot of the other apps that Nintendo will be able to make. Nintendo 3D is actually one of the more innovative ideas that has been come up with. Now, computers. We all know that there is a such thing as a really good computer and a really bad computer. One bad computer being the case that I'm using right now is a notebook computer, which in this case only has four gigs of RAM, yada, 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 all that stuff. Then there's really good computers that have in terms more, more of the cost for the more of the specs you get. In terms, you can probably get a DD, um, DDR4, 32 gigs of RAM or something like that. Probably have a 60, um, probably have a 128 gig um, SSD hard drive or something like that. Maybe something that's a little bit more on the side of how technology is going to grow after the past few years, which in this case, a lot of the prices for when you're actually trying to buy a computer, mainly for the subject of gaming computers, will be in the case of how you, uh, how you actually buy it, which will probably be about $2,000 in terms of how there is. There's even a laptop that has around $9,000 of US dollars that has the best specs in terms of how it's being used. One of the best gaming computers I've ever seen. Also being the case that has more effect against consoles. Now consoles being the mini operating system of computers, being the case that the computers are the main source of where games and where apps came from. Coming, coming to the third dot here that we have a lot of um, a lot of sufficient connectors that are starting to get a lot faster. So in this case, 
now that we're in the era of USB type C, we actually have a lot of other ways of fast charging for phones and a lot of fast charging for other things that can possibly connect to your computer. In this case, a lot of notebook computers and a lot of new computers like the MacBooks, Windows, uh, Windows tablets and all that stuff like the Surface, um, the Surface Pro 3 can possibly get a little bit more of a newer connector or something like that. Being the case of other computer operating systems, we've known a lot of operating systems that came from 1995, which was Windows 95, which in this case, Windows 95 has came a long way, almost 20, around 20 something years that in this case it has ran for such a long time. Unfortunately, that Microsoft has disabled a lot of, a lot of the other features that are on previous operating systems. A lot of Windows OS are starting to render non-native apps undownloadable. So in this case, if it's from a third party or if it's from a different site that hasn't came from the Microsoft Store, then it will not download that in a certain version of Windows. And a lot of people are actually going to start switching to um, Ubuntu or Mac OS because that actually has more popularity on its software. And a lot of Mac, um, a lot of Mac computers actually is the best um, operating system that you can use for 3D printing, gaming, and editing your photos or videos which this is actually possibly the one thing that a lot of people are talking about, so what will actually happen in the future. Which in this case, in the future, it's probably going to be a little bit different for most users actually using Mac OS, unless Microsoft stops with the non-native non apps being undownloadable. Now we all know the original Sega and Sega Genesis, a lot of other Sega games that came out to a lot of people. Now, Sega has actually viewed a lot of games from real-life situations. In this case, their most popular one being Sonic, which um, Sega has actually used a lot of um, different branches from other, um, from other games and other real-life situations to actually pull together to make a new game that's actually a little bit more complicated, but also easy for the user to actually play. We also have um, the possibility that Sega will be making another console with a lot of brand new features off of the Mega Sega Drive. In this case, a lot of people are actually using, um, a lot of people actually have the old Mega Sega Drive and all that stuff, which is actually one of the oldest consoles here, but at the same time, probably keeping a nostalgic effect, but at the same time, making it with a lot of new features. And also, they've, uh, um, they've helped with a lot of VR companies and investing money to actually make or help with the VR, um, with the VR section. In this case, VR being the number one top um, gaming list on this specifically because a lot of people are actually into virtual reality instead of actual console gaming, which is the second best. Now, in this case, Microsoft has actually make, made a lot of computers with a powerful OS, which in this case is powerful for virtual reality. In this case, there's a lot of different features that Windows or Microsoft has put on the users that are actually not that great. But in terms, it's actually one of the best operating systems and one of the most popular operating systems to be used by almost 97% of the public. Being the case that a lot of um, that a lot of um, other software has been generated from other previous software um, phone companies like Android made by Google or iOS made by Apple or probably Windows, in this case, made by Microsoft, which the Windows Phone OS is actually a lot more basic in terms you can download a lot of games and all that stuff. How will actually possibly change the future? Hopefully they'll actually make a new system that will actually be innovative to the person in terms of how they can customize it. Not like Apple OS when you actually just can't customize everything. Only thing that you can do is just delete apps. Now we all know the famous shoe company Nike. In this case, they have made a lot of other shoes that in this case, um, can, one of them can actually be a phone caller to certain companies. In this case, if you guys haven't seen the Pizza Hut, um, the Pizza Hut shoes, which those were made by them, in this case, you, you'll be able to actually call Pizza Hut and you'll be able to send a signal to either your phone or actually to Pizza Hut itself and then call them so you can get a pizza or whatever. I don't know what you would, what you would possibly want. Um, they've also made fur designs that look a little bit more advanced. As the picture in the background shows right here, that we have a lot of different, um, a lot of different things here. Um, in this case, they also have made self, um, self-lacing shoes. 
and then we can talk about virtual reality gaming in this case. So virtual reality gaming has gotten a lot more advanced in terms of how people have used it, in terms of how the game, uh, how the games have been um, native to the virtual reality setting. And there's a lot of other companies who are starting to get from VR and a lot of stuff to make their own innovative thing that's probably somewhat related to VR, but it's not the exact same thing. Also has a twist to it. This term VR is actually one of the most popular things. As I said before, VR can be used outside, indoors, or anything like that. One of the best things that have been happening since 2015, which was about two years ago. So this is actually two years old in terms of how it's being used. And then we can talk about Samsung, which they have actually made a lot. And I mean a lot of phones that are actually compatible with Google and compatible with a lot of other companies. Samsung has worked with several different companies to actually make it um, capable and have the capability of their phones to have um, VR heavy users, which in this case, a lot of people use the VR on their phone, which they probably make some type of little thing that probably connects to their phone or something which in this case, it actually works in terms of how you get, how it's being used because their newest phone is actually compatible with a lot, and I mean a lot of VR, um, virtual reality apps and stuff that works with it. In this case, if you use something that's like that, it can be your new VR device. Now they have a new technological thinking. In this case, the recent phone that has been out right now is the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 which in this case has a lot more features, but also goes for almost a thousand dollars. I can say that in this case, that this phone has a lot more features. A lot of people didn't really like the phone in terms, but those features can be actually a lot better in the, in the more near future, probably in 2019, where it can be at least normal to have type of specs like that. In terms, Samsung has actually made products with a smart TV that actually has a lot of smart TV capabilities. This actually was a few years ago in terms, but in, in the new future, in the near future, it'll probably be a little bit more advanced in terms of curved TV or something like that. Smart TV is their main purpose as of right now. Well guys, that is completely all for the video. If you guys do enjoy this video, then make sure to hit the like button down below and also subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.